a very good morning to all today the topic of discussion is cell cycle so in this presentation uh, we will look uh, what is cell cycle what are the checkpoints in cell cycle the importance of uh, cyclin dependent kinase and cyclins in uh, cell cycle uh, the different checkpoints and we will see what are the importance of these checkpoints in cell cycle Cell cycle is a series of events uh, that takes place so that the cell divide and they produce new cells. So this series of events is what we refer to as cell division cycle or uh, cell cycle. So most of the time uh, during the cell cycle, the cells uh, remain in the interface and it is only during the mitosis uh, where the actual uh, cell division happens. And uh, the cell cycle will help in passing of genetic materials to the daughter cell after the cell cycle checkpoints monitors the cell cycle progression and they make sure that the uh, cell cycle happens in an orderly as well as uh, an error free manner. So in case there is any error, cell cycle is halted and say for example if there is any uh, chromosomal DNA damage or if there is error in DNA replication or chromosomal alignment error, then there will be a halt in the cell cycle progression at these particular checkpoints which we uh, call as the G1 checkpoint, G2 checkpoint, the metaphase checkpoint and so on. Cyclins and cyclin dependent kinases. Now the cell cycle must be in an ordered fashion where there is a DNA replication followed by chromosomal separation followed by cytokinesis and so on. And these two uh, protein complex, the cyclin and the CDKs, make sure that the cell cycle progress is in an ordered fashion. Now, cyclins, as the name suggests, is a protein that express, accumulates and decomposes in a cell cycle uh, wherein the expression varies depending on the phase of the cell cycle. And this cyclin activated uh, cyclin dependent kinase, the CDKs, which are serine threonine kinase and their catalytic activities are modulated by interaction with this cyclin as well as the inhibitors of CDKs. So this pictorial uh, image shows that the cyclin CDK complex at the different phases of the cell cycle. Now as you have seen, the cyclins are the regulatory subunit that will activate the cyclin dependent kinase and the amount of cyclin at different phases varies. So if you can see the, uh, the cyclin E uh, which uh, start accumulating in the G1 phase moves to its peak towards the S phase and then it declines. Similarly for cyclin A reaches its peak in uh, the G2 phase and then it uh, declines and the cyclin B M phase they are highly expressed and then uh, they decline. So the cyclin, the amount of cyclin uh, actually activates the uh, corresponding CDKs in the different phase of the cell cycle. As uh, we have already discussed, the unregulated cell proliferation can lead to cancer. So there should be always a control on this cell cycle progression. And uh, these are the negative regulators, the, usually the tumor suppressor genes like retinoblastoma, P53, P21, which primarily act on G1 checkpoints regulating the cell cycle progression. So we'll see how the activation of uh, cyclin CDK happens. The first step is the binding of cyclin to CDK. So the binding at the cyclin box result in the uh, exposure or opening of uh, the kinase pocket. The second step is binding of CAK, which is CDK activating kinase. So by phosphorylating the CDK, uh, what really happens is it exposes the substrate binding site Meanwhile, there is another kinase V1, which is a inhibitory sort of kinase. They inactivate uh, the CDK. So the binding of phosphate at the ATP uh, binding pocket uh, result in the reduction in uh, the kinase activity. So when both V1 and CAK are active, then the CDK is uh, inactive uh, when both these domains are phosphorylated. So this is the place where the cell actually decide whether it has to further proceed to the next phase or not. So CDC25 uh, actually uh, removes the inhibitory phosphate so that the cell progress to the uh, next phase of the cell cycle. 
the activation of cyclin uh, dependent kinase is regulated by a uh, positive feedback mechanism where you can see the cdc25 is more active when there is more expression or more activation of uh, the cdk cyclin complex and this also will inhibit the v1 which is a kinase that actually block the atp binding site uh, making the cdk uh, cyclin complex inactive uh, we have also have to note that the uh, amount of CDK is consistent throughout the cell cycle and it's the cycling amount that varies at different phases of the cell cycle. And uh, so we have to understand the expression of cycling actually start before the start of the next phase and uh, which we have already seen in the previous slide. So what really happens is cycling bind to CDK and uh, is kept at an inactive state by the V1 kinase which inhibits the activity by binding to the ATP binding site. So this makes sure that when the cell is ready to initiate uh, to the next phase of the cell cycle there is enough cycling CDK uh, which is in inactive state uh, which can be activated by removing the inhibitory uh, phosphate on CDK that was aided by the V1 kinase. In this slide, we will look at uh, the uh, negative regulator retinoblastoma regulating the cell cycle progression. So ETF uh, is a transcriptional factor that uh, activates different target genes that are translated to different enzymes and proteins required for the S phase. So retinoblastoma bind to ETF, making it inactive, which means the genes necessary or needed for the S phase are not transcribed. But when the CDK cycling act, uh, maybe because of different growth factors through the RAS pathway and so on, it gets activated, which means the retinoblastoma gets phosphorylated, which uh, can no longer bind to E2F. And then the enzymes or proteins required for the S phase synthesis happens. So there are different uh, checkpoints as we have already seen. So the first one is the G1 checkpoint, which is also known as the restriction checkpoint. So uh, at this checkpoint, uh, the cell will check for uh, whether there is proper uh, DNA content, whether the, the resource for DNA replication or the cell replication is uh, there whether there is enough protein for the process and whether there are the overall condition or the environment is proper so that it gives the go-ahead signal. In the G2M checkpoint, uh, it again checks for the DNA error in replication. Uh, the DNA replication is complete or not has will be checked and they will also check for the enough proteins to move forward to the next phase. In the M phase, which is the spindle assembly checkpoint, uh, here is where the spindle fiber form will be checked, the chromosomal orientation will be checked, the attachment of chromosome to spindle also will be checked so that it gets the green signal to go forward.